Righto, today's little project picked up for 40 bucks. We have a Nakamichi BX2 2 head cassette. It powers on, which is a very, very good sign. And it actually plays. I'm going to need a cassette in there to, to trick the mechanism. But it does have a problem, and it, the problem is that the one of the pinch rollers is dragging the tape uh, and causing a, a whole uh, a whole mess so I'll show you what I mean by that I'm not using my words properly today and I'll see if I can fix this thing by pulling apart the mechanism and see if we can get it to work so these are the heads so they don't look like they're in too bad condition there's a fair bit of dust inside here but uh, I think it's still worth pulling this apart and seeing if we can fix it So it's looking very tired in there, and if I eject this, oh, that's not too bad. Maybe if I get a bit closer, you'll see what I mean. I press play. So basically, one capstan wheel is turning, and the other is not. It's trying to rewind, trying to fast forward. Okay, so both capstans are working this time. Let's see if we get any VU action. Oh my gosh, we do! Wow, that is astonishing. Let's see if it makes any noise. So I've got this hooked up to a uh, Sony a, uh, STR DB790. This one has a problem. This one has a very, very dim display. You can just see it there. But anyway, let's get to the problem. The problem is this tape deck. So it does when work. When you hear that scurrying, hurrying sound, you turn the page. Ah, what are you blathering about? Just Don't using the Dolby controls. Read. So this actually has adjustable output. Um, you start, please. That's the record level, and then that's the output level. So that... <coughs> and look at those beautiful VUs. Uh, roared the giant. Oh, the big hungry giant. So, what I can see is happening. It's not exactly perfectly easy to see, but the captions aren't spinning evenly. So, there is a... It's, and also, rewind and fast forward don't work. So if I press stop, press rewind, basically very little is happening stop and there's a logic problem with the fast forward as well fast forward it tries to fast forward but it's just playing slower than even play would play so if I rewind basically nothing happens so I think the problem and that tape is okay but I think the problem is there is a capstan wheel in there that uh, or a drag wheel that's that basically transfers power, and I think it's uh, it's probably needs a uh, probably needs a rebuild. So let's have a look. All right. So what have we got in here? We have the insides of a Nakamichi BX2. So. Uh, basically I'm gonna have to pull this apart the belts feel okay they look okay uh, I'll do some logic tests just to see how this thing is playing and see if the logic motors are all working uh, I, I'm pretty sure the electronics here are perfectly fine it's mainly the transport mechanism and some of the rubbers so looks like I don't know I've never put one of these apart before I've done a few other decks but not a Nakamichi which is why I was attracted to it, and they've got a fearsome reputation as being awesome decks.
Right ho. So that's how you get the tape mechanism out. I've never seen something flop out like that before. It's a bit of a surprise. So at least we can have a, a bit of a look here and this might make um, testing a lot easier. Okay, press play. And you see that we've got a knurled wheel here that I'm, I'm pointing to that drives a, a little rubber drive wheel that drives each belt. And then there are little clutch pads there. And there's another clutch pad there. So now if I put this into stop, rewind, doesn't rewind properly. Fast forward. Okay, so that works. What we've got here is a little breaker switch here. If I break the contact like that, I've now got access to all of the transport functions. So we've got reverse, which doesn't seem to want to play for very long. We've got press stop, fast forward, goes the other way and I can I can stop that very easily so this little wheel I'd say just does not have enough clutch power if I stop that press play so you, again you can see it's trying to drive that capstan wheel if I pull that over no it doesn't want to do it I'm thinking if I pull that over there we go it puts a bit more force on and it seems to be a lot happier if I take that off So I'd say this little wheel here is the problem. All right, let's pull that apart further and see what we can find. Now, just out of interest' sake, I've pulled this. I've turned this upside down just so you can see the logic mechanism. So this little motor here drives all the logic controls. So that's rewind, fast forward, play. Now I think this also needs a pretty good lube as well. So. I'm going to do that, I'm going to give it a bit of a lube and there we go, let's play, stop, rewind, fast forward. Okay, now that everything's pulled apart we'll have a better look at the heads. So the record head, it's not pitted and it doesn't have too many flat spots which suggests that it's probably in okay condition. Right, I've just discovered that you can just lift the door up and off so Perfect, it'll make that easier to clean and it'll also make everything else easier to access. What I'm going to do is try and lever off this little uh, this little circlip here. There you go. Put that somewhere safe and take off this little spindle wheel. Now this just flops. It's not driven by anything. So Hopefully, it's just this little, little wheel, which does actually have a tiny little washer behind it. So don't lose that if you're pulling this off. Righto, spare part is turned up that I need, which is the little replacement rubber jockey wheel. That is the beastie. Let's fit it and see if we can get this uh, cassette player uh, another lease of life. Here's a little pair of pliers just to grab that and pull that off. And that is quite decayed, that rubber. It's quite hard. Open up the new one. There's a new one. That's the old one. That has got quite a bit of meat on it. Hopefully that just slips on. And it does, just have to make sure that it's seated. Okay, done. Simple as that, put that back on. Now this little rubber O-ring has to go on. There we go. Now I'll fire this up, see if it works. It's a good start. Rewind. Okay, 
play. Beautiful. Play pause. Stop, fast forward. Rewind. Perfect. Looks like I fixed it. Reassemble. Do an audio test. We are done. Okay, let's have to remember which screws go where. Okay, don't forget the two screws at the bottom. Got a random selection of cassettes here. Beautiful. Beautiful, Phantom of the Opera. What a way to test. All right, this one's good to go. Fantastic. Easy repair, $11.